And what's the stain here on your top here? That's Behind you, what are you hiding? <laughs> at a quarter chook for lunch. <laughs> and I spilt the juice on my jacket. <laughs> but, yeah. That's free chicken. <laughs> That's the right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you're, you're building something pretty cool. Can you just show us? Yeah, come down the back and we can show you. All right, so I've just taken my bike out of the car and I'm here on Hampton Street. My local bike shop, Hampton Cycles, is just up there. And essentially what I wanted to do today was I'm taking my bike in for its first service after 12 months of use. I know it's fairly overdue, but when this bike was built 12 months ago by Darcy, who works at Hampton Cycles, he was telling me that you're going to be super surprised about the quality of Shimano 105 gearing. You see, previously I've had Ultegra and Durace, never 105 before. And I have been super surprised about 105. Not only its durability, but also I've used it for racing. I think it's super high quality. So I'm kind of questioning, would you even bother with Ultegra or with Durace given the price point? So I'm gonna drop my bike into Hampton Cycles right now and Darcy's gonna walk us through the differences between 105, Ultegra and Durace. Now, if you have just landed on this channel, this is where I do cycling videos, both inspirational and entertaining, with some deep dive road cycling product reviews, which is what this pretty much is right now. So if that sounds up your alley, consider subscribing below. Can we get Damo on film? Doesn't like, uh, he's gonna duck. <laughs> <laughs> Can I zoom in here? There he is. <laughs> so I'm here with Darcy, and Darcy built my bike just over 12 months ago. Just dropped it in for its first service. But before Darcy was building bikes, he was actually a pretty good road bike racer. In fact, I remember about five, six years ago, Tour of the Southwest, I was just an old bloke trying to have a crack in B grade, and you not only did you tow me up, you towed everyone up, you were some new up and comer. And then you ended up going Conti racing. Where did you, who did you race with? Uh, I raced with uh, African Wildlife Safari. Yep. So Conti with those guys. And then I was uh, Continental with Gano Quebec in yeah, okay. Canada, Canada, Quebec. So, How did yeah. you find racing over there? Yeah, it was different. Yeah? Um, yeah, it's just I was a little bit sort of getting towards the end and I had a cutoff period. So yeah. that was sort of my make or break year for me. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I like the way you did it though. You just sort of said, I'm going to go over and give it a crack. Yeah. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, yeah. it doesn't. That was the thing. So for me, I didn't want to get too old and have no money in my pocket. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, so, yeah. so the point is though, that you've, you've raced road bikes yep. quite a fair bit. Yep. Um, and now you've built them and yeah, just over 12 months ago, you built mine with 105. Yep. Previously, I'd ridden Ultegra and Durace, never 105, and you said to me, you're going to be surprised about the quality of 105. Yep. And I've been super surprised. So I want to go through all of those group sets if you can walk us through them. Yep. But why, why is 105 so good? It comes at a price point of, it's 200 grams heavier than Ultegra, and it comes at a price point of around about 900 to 1,000 retail. So it's the best price point group set. Yep. But what makes it such a good group set? Uh, I guess the fact that for anyone that is starting in, in the racing scene, it is quite a durable group set. Um, when you first enter into the racing scene or road riding scene, you probably are gonna have a few thrills and spills, no doubt about it. Um, so in, in that point, it is a little bit cheaper to replace parts and, and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, you said to me, I've got a few parts to replace after 12 months of use, right? Yeah, so, you know, it is it is very much a group set that you can put on. Um, you can thrash it, go and do millions of Ks on it if you want, um, and you're gonna get quite a few years out of it as well. Um, price to replace, like, chains and cassettes is a lot cheaper to your Durace. Yeah, um, and you can race on it too, right? You can race on it, there's, there's no issue with it. Um, a lot of guys, um, and I probably should have done it, I should have had a, a training bike, which I would have either had Ultegra or 105 on. Yeah. Um, just for that reliability of going out day to day um, and, and riding on a, a 105 or Ultegra group set. So yeah. And you said um, earlier as well, there's like a trickle down approach that Shimano has. So. Yep. Um, so from the earlier Durace group sets, that slowly trickles down into your Ultegra and then your 105 um, group sets in the coming years. They're starting to do it a little bit more with the, the newer Durace. So the Ultegra is very similar to the new Durace and even the new 105 is actually very similar to Durace and, and Ultegra as well. Yeah, so, okay. yeah. so does that mean the 105 
today is perhaps the durace of five years ago? Would that be fair to yeah, say? fair to say. So obviously there's more research and development goes into the higher end and then your 105 and Ultegra is sort of a bit of an afterthought, I guess, yeah. in, in a sense, um, would be my, my opinion of it. So the shifting and the braking performance on the 105, yeah. how, how do you rate that? I, I rate it to be a, a little bit clunkier. Um, it does stay tuned for, for a longer period of time, I've sort of found. Um, but again, you sort of, a training bike, I don't know, I don't really 100% look after a, a training bike as such, yeah. um, if you sort of get what I mean. Um, whereas like a, a full Durace group set, yeah, you're gonna wanna maintain that 100% because yeah. yeah. that's, that's where you're paying decent bucks for a really good quality group set and you don't want it to lapse into that unmaintained business. Going to Altegra, so the jump from 105 to Altegra, it's about 200 grams less in weight and it retails in Australia for around $1,500. So it's about five or $600 more than 105. In terms of quality, how much better is Altegra than 105? Uh, well, it is lighter, um, as you just mentioned. So it's about 200 grams lighter. So those guys that are, you know, wanting to progress from their first race bike um, or their first road bike into a, a better group set, then that's what Altegra is there to cater for. It's still very durable as well. Um, not as durable as your 105, yep. um, but more durable than your Durace. Yep. Um, so it's sort of it's 100% that middle group set that you know guys want decent shifting, but they still want super good reliability um, and they want to you know have more affordable higher end race equipment on their bikes and what's yeah. the braking performance like in comparison to the 105s on the Altegra? is it much, is um, there much, much there? if you i wouldn't say there'd be much there between your rims in your discs there's obviously going to be a, a fair advantage okay. just in the lever activation yeah. um, the hydro 105 um, disc brake levers are quite big and bulky whereas you look at your Altegra um, group set in your hydro compared to your Durace and they're, they're quite similar in the hoods and the way the shifters feel and, and actually activate as well yeah, so okay. yeah yeah across your three group sets with your your rim obviously your brakes get lighter and Does, do they wear a little bit more on the higher end uh, brakes really don't tend to wear out like your pivot points and that sort of thing they're always going to stay very similar on brakes the only thing you might chew through more is more brake pads. Maybe you're doing more Ks on it. Um, maybe you're running carbon wheels, um, so your brake pads will deteriorate a little bit quicker than, than what rubber ones will yeah. uh, for your rim, uh, alloy rim braking surface. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't really go into brake performance across your, you know, your mechanicals or um, yeah, rim brake wheels, I yeah. would say. Yeah. It's more when it comes into your hydro across your three group sets, you're gonna notice a bigger performance for sure. Yeah, yeah. okay, cool. And then, so Durace is a big step up in price. So it's 1500 for Altegra. It's, at Shimano Australia, I know this hasn't come from Hampton Cycles, this has come from me, I think they need to lift their game. Recommended retail price, please. It's all over the place when I look online, but the Durace is, uh, 3,000 to 3.3 3, 3 that I'm seeing, which is, a, which is about a $1,500 plus increase in price, which is massive. I notice weight, it's 300 grams less than Altegra and 500 grams less than 105, so that's pretty significant. How do you find sort of the shifting and um, overall performance of the yep. Durace? So between your 105 and your, your Durace models, um, your shifting is a lot lighter. You've stripped 500 grams out of some quite small parts yeah. on a bike um, when you really strip back and think about it. Yeah, so they've stripped obviously 500 grams out of the, we'll go on this one. They've stripped 500 grams out of your shifters, your front and rear derailers, your cranks, um, and your brakes as well, which is pretty big when that's probably the second biggest part on your bike. Um, so when what, you sort where of are you going to feel the impact it. from a riding perspective? Riding perspective, you're going to feel it from hills. Um, you're going to feel it when you're riding down a straight bit of road and you want to go click, 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 click. You're yep. going to have amazing shifting. Yep. Um, yeah, it's just, Durace for me, 
working here, uh, working in the bike shop, racing on it, I'm probably always going to have a Duro's group set on one of my bikes at least. Oh. Yeah, um, it's just that much better from your 105. Yeah, it's a little bit more fiddly and it's a little bit more maintenance upkeep on it. But for me, it's definitely group set of choice out of the three what's and that's the why it's a pinnacle what's the disadvantages would that be replacing parts or parts are a little bit more expensive yep. but it sort of comes down to how well maintained you keep your bike if you wash your bike after every ride um, you're getting all the sand and, and grit and stuff off beach road out of your chains and cassettes it's going to last a lot longer it's not going to last as long as your 105 obviously because your 105 is made out of heavier material but if you're chasing weight gains um, for racing or you're climbing ball bore or you're targeting around the bay in a day, um, you know, 500 grams, you pick that up in a bowl of rice, it's a fair bit of weight. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> this is where the bike building magic happens out the back here at Hampton Cycles. There's Brooke having a crack, how are you mate? How are you, Cam? Good. What do you got here? I have got a specialised diverge, mate, which I'm putting together. Very nice. Uh, for a it's a gravel bike. It is a gravel bike, yes. How are the gravel bikes going here at Hampton Cycle? Absolutely love a good gravel bike. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's, a it's a growing sector. It is. It's huge. Should get on board, Cam, if you have yeah. one. <laughs> it's time. And what have we got here? Uh, so this is a new Venge. So it's for a very special customer of ours. Yeah. Um, Super nice guy, so... It doesn't it, have the, um, the gum walls. Mine that I got from Specialized, I thought was the stock came with the gum walls. Yeah, he's, uh, he's changed these out. So he's got Vittorio courses on this one. Um, there is tire of choice, which is, you know, he loves it. Um, he's got 56 tooth chain ring on this bad boy. Um, oh, what is that? So that's Praxis. Yeah, um, I don't even know what that is. is so Praxis, they're a, they're a parts manufacturer. Um, so yeah, they do bottom brackets and chain rings and all kinds of different bits and pieces. Um, and then, yeah, he's gone full Durace DI2 Hydro on this one as well. Oh, so nice. yeah, bike. so yeah. There's Tom Jones in the background there. Just come back from overseas racing. Oh, yeah. You're gonna do a video with us later about that, mate? Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> nice, uh, yeah. that's a beautiful bike. All right, well, thanks for your time, Darcy. Much appreciated. All right. We'll catch you in the next video.